Rules! Welcome to Roy's Weekend Review, and I'm your host, Trice. And I'm Sage. Hey, Trice, do you like rock and roll? Yeah, I'll listen to it. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to it. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, let's see what's up with the rock and roll club. Hey, I'm Freddie. I'm here in room 105 where we meet every other Wednesday for Rock and Roll Club. If for some reason you play an instrument and you'd like to play with us, uh, you can drop on by and every time we meet, we learn how to play a few songs or we'll play together. Or if you don't know anything about how to play uh, an instrument, sometimes here we teach y'all how to play. Um, we perform at group events. We played at the tailgate. If you guys are interested in either either performing or being a part of our club, please drop on by to room 105. And if you have any other questions, you can always come on by and check out Rock and Roll Club. Rock on. Hey Trice, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Do you know what the capital of Washington is? Of Washington? It's it's Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if our KM teachers are smarter than a fifth grader. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? No. I'm not sure. Depends on which fifth grader. I hope so. Yes. All right, let's, let's make sure. All right, maybe you're doubting yourself. Maybe you're doubting yourself. All right, what's the capital of Washington State? Olympia. Yeah. Olympia. Olympia. Oh, Olympia. Seattle. How many planets are there in our solar system? Are we talking about with or without Pluto? Let's say without, let's say without. I believe eight. Seven? Well, depends on who you ask, but nine. Which one's the ninth, the final one? Like Pluto. Like I, I grew up knowing that Pluto is a planet. Pluto is a planet. Okay. Uh, eight, because Pluto is no longer a planet. Well, there's eight, because they say Pluto's not a planet, but it's really a planet, so come on, there's nine. Plus there's planet. X. So really, there's nine. Who was the 44th president of the United States of America? Obama. Is that Obama? Obama? 44th president of the USA was uh, George W. Bush. Sorry, bro. Oh, it was Obama. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Yesterday was Veterans Day, and normally we would have had an assembly, but this year we can't. So we've organized a special edition of Royals We Can Review to honor our veterans. Let's start with a salute to KM veterans. Next, let's hear from one of our veterans, Max Maxwell, our IT person who served in the U.S. Coast Guard. Hello, Meridian Royals. My name is Daniel Maxwell. However, most of you will know me as Mr. Max, even more as the IT guy. I'm honored to be able to share some of my story with you today about my experience in the military. Before I start, I would like to thank all the other veterans who are part of Kent Meridian's story and thank you for your service. I was honored to serve in the United States Coast Guard from November 2008 to February 2015. I grew up in a very small town in East Texas. When I graduated high school, I was lost and I could not decide whether to go to community college or join the military. After some time, I decided that joining the Coast Guard was what I wanted to do. This is hands down the single best and most important decision that I made in my life. Everything that has happened in my adult life can be traced back to the Coast Guard. Over those six years, I got the chance to travel around the United States and much of Central America. In one year, I went from waving at Russia, north of the Arctic Circle, to swimming with the sharks south of the equator. While in the Coast Guard, I worked as an electronics technician, and I specialized on fire control systems. Yes, one of my many jobs was to be a firefighter, but fire control systems in the military means I worked on really big guns. 
I operated and maintained a Mark 15 close-in weapon system, or better known as CWIS. This was a device that looked like R2-D2 and had a six barrel 20 millimeter Gatling gun. It shot really fast. This was a defense system that eliminated incoming threats to the ship that I was a sailor on. Of the six years I served, three of them I spent in schooling, learning how to work on and maintain various electronic devices. Most of the skills I learned during these schools, I have been able to use right here at Kent Meridian High School. There is not a day that goes by I do not think about my life and how it ties back to my Coast Guard time. From the things I learned at schools to the friends I made while serving. To every student who's thinking about or already committed to joining the military, I want to thank you for your service now and I wish you the best of the luck. Thank you so much, Kent Meridian, for allowing me to share some of my story with you today. I feel honored to be able to call myself a Royal. Go Royals. Ms. Burry made some special Veterans Day cookies. Let's take a look. Next, let's see some photos that our staff and students have sent in of their family members who served our country. Perfect. Finally, Finally, staff and students wish, wish to say thank, thank you to our veterans. veterans. Quick thank you to our veterans. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, veterans. Thanks to all our veterans. Thank you, 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 vets. Thank you, veterans. 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 Thank you, veterans.
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, vets. I'm hoping to be you guys soon. Uh, come from a Civil Air Patrol cadet. Heard it here, folks. Thank you guys for all your hard work and service. I appreciate it. I'd like to say thank you for all the veterans and teachers in our school that have served for our country and for our safety. Thank you very much. We love you, veterans. We thank love you. Veterans. We love you. Thank 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 you.